Good morning. Uh, Tarot by Woodsong again here with another video reading. I'm in a little different place this time. I'm not in a public park around Houston. I'm actually in a ghost town uh, near Houston. Now ghost towns don't mean that they're they're haunted towns or anything like that. A ghost town is, is a, a little locality, a little village, a little, little conglomeration of buildings that may have been a town once upon a time, 80, 100 years ago, something like. But for whatever reasons, uh, you know, people moved off, the town, di town died out. Uh, the buildings are uh, rotted away and the uh, the undergrowth just kind of grew into overgrowth all around and so I am in a ghost town called Barker Texas um, they, there actually are still some buildings here however a developer bought them and, and painted them bright white and uh, I think they're going to make it kind of a tourist attraction eventually and actually much of the old town much of the land in the old town uh, is is being developed into apartment buildings and uh, uh, subdivisions and things like that so I'm in part of the still underdeveloped area here or underdeveloped area if you will and we're going to uh, pan down here to see the cards and we're going to do our reading from here, from Barker, Te Barker, Texas. So let's start with our first card. By the way, before I start with the cards, I'd like you to to, to uh, urge you to consider subscribing to this particular feed. If you look to the left on the YouTube screen, you see, should see a button, or you can click to subscribe. Uh, it's a free subscription. Uh, no one's going to bother you or anything if you do. And uh, if, if you do subscribe, you'll be notified before anyone else whenever I post new updates to uh, this particular video feed. And uh, so you'll be the first one to, to see the readings and, and hear about them. Uh, so if you would consider subscribing, I'd be very grateful and would thank you a lot. Be very appreciative of that. So anyway, on to the reading. We're going to again pull three cards. The first card is going to suggest, well, actually we're going to try to, try to put them together into some type of phrase or some type of logical uh, uh, configuration uh, to try to get an idea of what uh, we might want to consider this week. So let's go ahead and start off with our first card, which is ooh, the lover's card. Now, the lover's card really doesn't mean the lovers. Let me pan in a little bit. We get a little picture closer view of that. It doesn't really mean the lovers. Uh, what it really means is choices. And, and in particular, choices between a known and comfortable and safe and easy and smooth and boring choice and a choice between that and a wild and risky and incredibly exciting and invigorating but potential be a total train wreck choice. So we, we want to look consider situations where we, we have the options of going the safe route or going the risky route. Sometimes it's worthwhile to take the risky routes, you know, but, but be aware there's some potential downside there should we choose that. So let's take a look at our next card and try to get some kind of a, a clearance on this to figure out what we need to do or what we might want to consider doing. And our next card is the King of Cups. Now, cups in, in general, or in particular rather, um, are a suit of emotions, of relationships, of the way we feel about people, the way people feel about us. The king is the master of that particular suit, so he really embodies the whole idea of feeling for people. And in fact, that's, that's the key to the king. He feels for people. He feels responsible for the people he cares about. He doesn't, he's not looking to take personal pleasure in all this. In fact, for him to be personally pleased, he has to make sure that his responsibilities are taken care of, that the people he cares about are taken care of. And he does this not by analysis, not by reason, not by, you know, trying to, to pull out a spreadsheet and, and doing the plus and minuses he does it by thinking about how he feels about things so the way he uh, approaches problems and tries to resolve problems is by thinking about how what they mean to his heart what they mean inside uh, how does he feel about the issue so let's go ahead and take a look at our third card and we'll see if we can wrap this thing up okay third card is temperance temperance is well, temperance is the act of being temperate. Uh, it, it's, it's being safe. It's being secure. It's not swaying so far to one side or way far to the other side. It's kind of staying smack dab in the middle, in the safe middle there. So we're, we're not taking big risks. We're not uh, playing it too safe. We're just, just taking the, the secure path down the middle. Now this kind of, considering where we started off with with the first card, kind of ties things together. So if we're in situations where we're looking at choices between uh, trying, to config, trying to decide should we do something safe, should we do something risky that might have a higher potential, but turn out could turn out to be a train wreck. We want to listen to our heart. We want to listen to what our heart tells us to do. Uh, oops, I got to apologize. One of the construction uh, equipment just passed by. So choosing between uh, safe 
and risky. Listen to your heart. Listen to what your heart tells you to do. Think of how it's going to affect the people around you. And in the end, you're probably going to find that the safe and secure and, and, and temperate route may be your best choice after all. At least consider that. You, you, you want to play, pay close attention. Because I know some of us are really a, a tempted and, and attracted by that whiskey, risky and wild route. Uh, could be lots of fun, but like I said, it could be a train wreck both for you and for the people around you. So let take the time to consider uh, uh, doing things the safe and easy way. And that's about it for uh, today. Uh, I, again, thank you for attending. If you, if you uh, did choose to subscribe, I would be very grateful. And if you wanted to share this uh, particular video with your friends on your social media outlets, you know, Facebook or Twitter or what have you, I'd be grateful there as well. I, I really enjoy being able to reach out and, and uh, get these messages out to as many people as possible. So your efforts really uh, play a big part in that, and I'm very grateful and very appreciative of that. That's about it for today. I'll be back with more later. Take care. Bye-bye.